Hello, this is Shrikant Arji. Welcome back to a brand new episode on do-it-yourself videos on bioenzymes. And today in this video, we're going to talk about fertilizers. The tools what we need here is a small bucket, which could hold about 3 liters of water, a strainer, you will need a stirrer, a tablespoon, a funnel, a cloth and a rope, a jute rope and then a spray bottle. The raw materials what you need is bioenzymes, we need water, we need some compost, some organic waste which is ground into paste. So I am making use of uh, two cups of compost, one cup of organic waste which is diversified, you can use any fruit, vegetable, flower or root. I would need water, stir it well. Why we use compost here is because plants need a very good balance of NPK ratio. Now, When we talk about NPK, it is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. That promotes in growth, keeping the bacteria away and it also acts as a nutrient booster for the soil. Here you see the mixture, then just cover it with a cloth and tie it with a jute band. We need at least 4-5 to five days of fermentation. But as I told you, we can also leave it overnight. We've already filtered a previous batch and we've kept this ready. So this is the color that you obtain uh, once the bio fertilizer is ready. So I'll just move this bucket aside. And how do you need to use this particular fertilizer is not in its form. So you need to dilute it in 20 parts of water. So you take one part of bio fertilizer and dilute in 20 parts of water and this is how you get. So it's a lighter version of that. And you can make use of this as your bio fertilizer to spray to your soil plants. So you can just keep spraying. So let us see about the do's and don'ts while making this fertilizer. While making this fertilizer, the kind of enzymes that you use has to be more diversified. That means you can use citrus, you can use vegetables, you can use flowers, you can use other ingredients. The more diversified you have bioenzymes, the better is the uh, you know growth of microorganisms. You have more diversified organisms, you have diversified enzymes which are very very helpful and beneficial for growth of plants. What you don't have to do is you don't have to add anything like uh, you know cow urine or any any other uh, materials or any other chemicals to it. Uh, because I, I know, I mean, when you are using cow urine, it would definitely form as a work as an emulsifier. So instead of cow urine, you can also use a plant-based. If you are looking for a plant-based, uh, you know, alternative, then you can make use of saponins or soapnins. So soapnut solution can work like how cow urine works in Jeeva Amruta. You can use it on any kind of plant. You know, your indoor plants, your outdoor plants, or flowers, or you know, if you're growing vegetables. And if you're growing fruits, so you can use it on anything basically. So I hope you like the content of this video. If you like the content of this video, then you know what to do. So this is Shrikant Arji signing off. Thank you so much.